Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sushmita Chaudhary this side and today I'm here to talk about AVM. Now you'll ask, what is AVM? AVM stands for arteriovenous malformation. It is a medical condition characterized by an abnormal tangle of blood vessels in which arteries are connected directly to veins without the usual intervening capillaries. Normally, arteries carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart to the body's tissues and veins return this oxygen depleted blood back to the heart. So capillaries are the tiny blood vessels that facilitate the exchange of oxygen and nutrients between the arteries and the veins. In an avian, this natural network is disrupted and the direct connection between the arteries and veins creates a risk. Aviums can occur in various parts of the body but they are most commonly found in the brain and the spinal cord. The severity of symptoms and potential complications associated with AVMs can widely vary depending on their location, size and the blood flow they disrupt. So let us discuss some key points about AVMs. AVMs can be asymptomatic and go undetected until they cause some problems. When symptoms do occur, they can include headaches, seizures, neurological deficits such as weakness or numbness and in severe cases, bleeding in the brain, hemorrhage can result in life-threatening conditions. So the diagnosis includes imaging studies such as angiography, MRI or CT scans, which are often used to diagnose AVMs and determine their size and location. Treatment options for AVMs depends on several factors, including the location and the size of the AVM, the severity of the symptoms and the risk of bleeding. It may include surgical removal, embolization that is the blocking of abnormal blood vessels, or radiation therapy. The main risk associated with AVMs is bleeding. AVMs can rupture and cause a hemorrhage, which can lead to neurological damage and even death. So, the prognosis for individuals with AVMs depends on various factors again, including the promptness of diagnosis and the effectiveness of treatment. Some AVMs can be successfully managed with intervention, while others may require ongoing monitoring. But it is important to note that AVMs are a relatively rare disorder and treatment decisions are typically made on a case-to-case -case basis by a team of medical professionals that includes neurologists, neurosurgeons and interventional radiologists to provide the most appropriate care for the individual's specific situation. Thank you.